What's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lineth underscore ke i'm trying to prepare breakfast for the day guys and then uh, we go today because we have a lot to do in our garden i'm actually going to prepare on how to plant onions and also how to plant red pepper and yellow pepper so welcome actually a boil water even if it comes from our well we usually boil water so i actually boil it from here so i think the fire is up and the fact that the this wood were rained on but still they can lit up the fire i'm so amazed actually these are the remains of the wood that we found from our house when we were doing the roofing there were so many imagine i can't imagine since we did the roofing until now and it's still working so one thing when you're boiling water outside because the smoke is coming out make sure you cover it well yeah hey, it's so hot these are the firewoods that we were collecting when we were doing the cleaning so these small woods here they help you when lighting up the fire so i didn't want to throw them in a dustbin because i can still use them so i want them to dry here because they were rained on yesterday at night so let them kauka kauka means to dry with sun yeah. and this cat <laughs> loves following us I think it's because we usually give her food, so anytime she see us, she see us as food. Hey, today is a big surprise to a chicken. Every day is big surprise to us, but today is for the chicken. So, guys, I just we just bought this yesterday, and uh, since today it's in the morning, we are actually going to try it and have the chicken feet here. And I always tell you, I don't buy the chicken feet because we have maize. When we go to grind our maize to get the flour, I always take the remains because i always go for the grade one unga they call here a they call it raha i don't know sock or something like that that's how Jogo. they Jogo, and that's chalo shall I introduce yourself because you've just <laughs> <laughs> chalo kush is right here thank you so much guys for always supporting lynette yeah yeah coming straight from our home yeah okay. and the surprise the people who are okay the things that are, are being surprised they are there they're actually feeding from these grasses the surprise here. the surprise <laughs> Look at how they're feeding on the grasses. This hey, they they have been feeding. They've been feeding heavily. All along. Yes. Yeah, you can show them the grasses. Mm. I can't imagine mm. the other day that we did the weeding. This is the place that you concentrated most. But look, it has proved you wrong. Mm. <laughs> they are the ones totally. which have grown tall yes. compared to all other places, right? Yes. Oh, they are feeding, and you know, you see, like insect. This insect here, the way they are forming, you see. The degree, I don't mm. know how you call them. I yeah. don't know them in English. The ants, mm. they are also feeding on them because there are so many here. So, guys, these mm. ones we are going to feed. Uh, to, I'm going to show you how they are being used. You know, even me, I didn't know about it, and I think also some people who are watching, they don't know how they are being used, right? So, let's demonstrate. These are for the chickens, not for you, kitty, small kitty, beautiful kitty. Hi, this yellow one. I just wanted it to be different, so I was actually told this is for the water. So you just open it. Okay, I'm going to show you. So these are the four feet, and uh, already the owner is here. So let me put the feet and see how they are going to feed from them. Like that, you just open. Take the feet. Hey, hey. Uh huh. 
I just love how she walks like a leopard. I don't know. So you just put them here. You see they're coming up of Karibu? Do you see Charlie? Oh, when you go, they're coming here. Yeah, I think those are enough, right? I just add some more. Enough. Right. Enough? Yes. So when they feed, they keep on going around and like falling down. So I'm going to put here because we have big chickens and small chicken. Mm. Sometimes to feed together. There's a problem. Yeah. Hey mama. Like that. So you do like this. Ah uh, yeah, you do like this. You you just close it. Now you walk with it like this. So I want to put it in different spots. Or oh, what do you think, Charlo? Just put them in different spots. Different spots. Place one maybe on that manhole there. On the manhole? Yes. Here? And another one there because they usually love to chill here, right? Yeah, and also go plant some veggies and come give Oh, them. yeah, by the way, the veggies. Yes. Yeah. I put it here, right? Eh? Yeah. You know they love feeding from this side. Yeah, that's what I've realized. Thank you. So you know Hailey wants <laughs> to do everything that I do. Let's go mama and feed them now. The dove is Zuri. So this is where we will be feeding our chicken water. So you just pour water here. When I tell you to pour water, you bring in this yellow tin. Mm. So, and then you pour here. You remove like this. Put. One. So close with this one. Funga. Una funga ivi. Yeah, like that. Kujo, you bend it. You bend it. You can lay hapa. So. You put it like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it keeps on moving water like this and this. So, so. Yeah, just like that. They will come and feed on the water. Yeah, so th that's how it works, guys. You put water in this tin, and then you turn it upside down. So the water comes here, and then they will be feeding the water from there. You hold here near and then you do like this. Toop. Very easy. Hold here. I do it. Nice one. chicken they are going to take the water that you put and the other one is feeding on the feed wow this is so amazing i thought they couldn't find it but right now they already find it found it wow okay so the videos you're supposed to put them here Getting it correct. 
Mushikia ni Aya, hivi Nchani kwa wanyansha Mwepitisha hapa Ngiza hapa hivi Ngiza hapa hivi Hapa Hapa Ngiza hapa hivi Hapa Hapa Ngiza hapa hivi Hapa 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 Today I'm going to show you how to plant uh, red capsicum. Some people call it capsicum, and for me I call it okay. Some call it red paper. So, so when you're tearing it or when you're cutting, make sure you cut on the on this wall here where there is a depression. So these are the seeds that I want to extract from this thing and then we plant them. We just extract them slowly, slowly without removing this thing here. So this is my first time I'm trying. These are the ones that I've managed to collect from the two red paper. So they say that when you buy the red paper, they will grow. But if you go for the green paper, it won't grow. I don't know the reason as to why it won't make it. But I've just decided to go with the red and yellow. So this is the red seeds. And then I'm going to plant it in the, this red thing here. And then the yellow, I'm going to plant it in another tin. And the yellow one seems to be having very less seeds compared to the red one. These are rice hulks and these ones are very good for aeration when you put them in the soil they are very good in aeration so this bag here the full bag that you're seeing here it's actually costed me 50 bob shillings kenyan shilling which is equivalent to 0 0.038 dollars 0 0.38 0 0.38 dollars so i'm just going to put them here and then go use them So you know here we plant rice so that's how that's why it's so cheap compared to maybe other places
the red capsicum, red pepper. These are the yellow. So today I just captured our our kitty. It just dug a hole. It pulled and now it's it's burying the poo. <laughs> Caught on camera. Caught on camera. <laughs> it just dug a hole and then it has pulled and then it has to sniff and ensure like no smell is coming out from that. Yeah, that's how clean the poo the kitty is huh? yes yeah that's so good it has to confirm look yeah. it's still smelling it has to it has yeah, to yes yeah one thing about it it even don't uh poo in the house yes yeah. now today i've got it so i also want to show you how we plant onions and then um, you can be harvesting the leaves and eat it from wherever you're staying so this is for the city people who live in the city wherever you are you can just do this if you don't have soil don't want uh, don't mind you can just plant it with water only so our soil is ready and uh, i have my onions here this is actually around one kg and it cost 150 Kenyan shillings. That is equivalent to one dollar. So I'm going to put the soil in. Although I'm not going to use a lot of soil because if maybe you are in the city and you don't have the soil, you just put them in uh, tins, the serving tins. So this one is already starting to grow so what I'll do is just separate because there are two of them I'll just separate just like that then what you do is uh, we just plant it we'll just arrange them here first
took my thumbnail for my photo, like the thumbnail, the picture that you're seeing on my <laughs> YouTube, and uh, they are here, they are one just to feed from here. So this also gives me an information that I need to put these things on a high end where they will not be reaching because they seem to be eating a lot and they will destroy them. Yeah, so I need to return them where they are supposed to be. be having them on my garden that's why we had a gate there so here they were not going to be destroyed by my chicken or our chicken so they'll just be here and I just love the arrangement so let them be here and then I pray for them they grow up and then we see the progress so this one I've decided to use my hands because when you use the water can they will be falling down and I don't want, I don't want them to fall down I just want them to be up to stand up to grow like this yeah i think that's okay because the soil was already wet and since like today it's going to rain so you know at night we usually receive rains at night nowadays i think the all of this week so today it seems like it's going to rain during the daytime so we are just praying for it to come very early because we need rain in this garden so we will be harvesting our onions after 30 days. So we expect the onions to grow in 14 days. That is equivalent to two weeks. So we will be harvesting only the leaves. We are not going to eat the stems because you know it's a round onion. So it's just like we will be eating from our uh, the other onions, these ones here. Spring onions. Wow. So have a rest here. So actually somebody told me that this bench should be a praying bench and it's actually a good idea just come and kneel here thank god because of your garden your family and everything by the way guys in everything put god first in everything that you're doing just put god first because i do appreciate the far we've come from me and chalo oh chalo and i so it's a good idea and thank you so much for the idea it can be a good idea although right now i need to take some rest as i just meditate about my farm Look at how they are doing to look where they need some adjustment. Yeah, so you see these are the case that we planted very early. Uh, so they are actually over and they produced some flowers here as you can see. So somebody advised me that I should leave these seeds to grow. After growing, I replant again in my garden because they will do well because they have been growing, uh, growing here. So I'll just leave these. I'm not going to uproot them. I'll just leave because we have several of them in here in the garden, like that one there. So we will be leaving them to grow and then I'll do the seeds and see how if they can grow because I've never tried this. So every day I tell you I just eat from my garden. So these are actually amaranth and then we have some matumbo. I don't know matumbo how it's Stripe. called. Stripes, yeah. That's how it's called in uh, English. We have ugali. Ugali is actually our maize that we planted in our mom's garden. So welcome to our lunch and thank you so much for watching this video. Keep on supporting Lynette underscore KE and thank you. Bye bye.